Specialist James A. Wolf, 21. Veterans for Peace began commemorating the service members killed after September 11, 2001, back in 2003, the year the war in Iraq began. Why are we embroiled in so many wars? David Patterson is a Vietnam veteran. He says the demonstrations started by showing all the troops killed in Iraq and Afghanistan. Once the casualty, casualty numbers went beyond 2,000, we couldn't deal with the, with the logistics. And then eventually uh, we decided it was too big to deal with anyway, so we went down to the local hometown one, which is the lower four counties of California. It's more manageable, but still has impact. That is still over 300 markers spread out along the park just across from the USS Midway Museum. Each one of these plaques represents somebody from Southern California who was killed after September 11, 2001. The black ones represent suicides. What began as a protest has evolved into a solemn remembrance of fellow vets who died. Family members began leaving mementos at these makeshift memorials. Patterson remembers one event 10 years ago. We covered the whole green. And uh, there were some people that went there and left these. Excuse me. Yeah, left notes about you know, what uh, these people's children were doing now, and you know, very personal. They actually hang on to everything left at the memorial. There is an anti-war component, but. We are personally uh, moved by it and serious about what we do here. Not everyone appreciates the gesture. Occasionally we'll have someone come by and say, well, that's, that cross has my husband's name on it, and he wouldn't want to be here in this display because he wanted to be in the fight. Yeah. So we give him the cross or we give him the tombstone, take, you know, take it home. Most people are respectful. During the height of the two wars, Veterans for Peace staged this type of protest roughly once a month. Hometown Arlington West now happens twice a year, on Memorial Day and again on Veterans Day. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.